Hello, this is Sweet June 2010. Back, him coming back at you. Uh, here with another enlightening video. Once again, I'd like to take the time to thank my subscribers. I see I'm seeing more people subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, glad that you like my videos. Um, you know, if, if you guys want me to talk about something, um, feel free to put in the comment section or let me know if you want me to discuss something. Um, I'll be more than happy to talk about it. I don't discuss inappropriate topics on my channel, so um, if it's something that's inappropriate or whatever, I'm not going to do it. But um, particularly if it's, it's something pertaining to the empowerment of the black race or whatever or uh, concerns about what's going on in the black community you know I'm open for ideas <laughs> so you guys whatever you you know if you have a request or what you want me to discuss you want me to talk about uh, I appreciate your input and your um, feel free to put it in the comment section but I want to thank you guys for subscribing me you know, I'm really glad that you enjoy my videos I try to put videos out there. I'm not on here to bash people. I'm not on here to, um, you know, some people get on YouTube and they just be talking a bunch of jibber jabber and, you know, uh, bashing people and um, cussing and going on and and um and I noticed that those people get a lot of hits <laughs> because controversy sells. Well, I'm not about all that, and I'm not coming on here trashing people, cussing and going on, and all that. Um, I'm my I'm on here to enlighten people, get a witness, maybe entertain you a little bit, maybe make you laugh a little bit, take your mind off your everyday problems. You come to my channel, uh, get some enlightenment. Main things I want to enlighten enlighten you, you know. I want to enlighten people, educate, like to educate people, enlighten people, um, you know, the world according to Sweet June. <laughs> so, uh, um, just thank you, thank my scribes, um, anybody new coming to my channel and looking at my videos, please subscribe and like my videos, and thank you once again. Now, that brings me to my current topic. Um, I want to talk about the key reasons why as black as black people we can't gain any economic power in this country um, and we can't seem to get our communities um, we can't seem to run our communities like we should. You know, we can't, um, like, you go across the board to every state, um, every city in the United States with a population of over 50,000 and up. If there's a black community in those cities, small or large, or medium, I noticed that there's the same theme across the board for every black community and that there's no unity and that's across the board in every black community in every state in every city whether it be a large city medium city a small city it's the same across the board and I have to ask myself the question why why aren't these communities unified? Why is there black people killing other black people? Um, why is there's no abundance of black business in these communities? Um, in certain black communities there are, but um, in a lot of black communities there's not. You have people of other races, races that's running stores and businesses in that community but it's not black people even in my own city 
um, I noticed that when I go to different parts of town, and you know how they have those, you know, they used to call them back in the day, they used to call them mom and pop stores. Um, convenience stores is what they call them now, but they used to call them mom and pop stores back in the day. And I noticed when I go on certain sides of town and I see these stores, these small store, mom and pop stores, slash convenience stores, I noticed that those stores are not ran by black people. Those are These are black, predominantly black communities. And these stores are not ran by black people. They're either ran by uh, the Arabs, uh, uh, Indian people, um, or Caucasian people. But they're not, even that's even in my own city, you know. I notice when I go to a convenience store, there's no black people running that convenience store. There's a store right around the corner from me. A neighborhood store that's around the corner from me. And there's no black people that own that store. It's um, 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 Arabs or um, Indian people. But it's not black people. And this is a predominantly black community that I live in. So, and, and, and I noticed that that's a common theme across the board for every black community in the United States. And um, I noticed that and even your you know your hair stores when I go to when I go to the hair shops that's in my city now I'm just talking about it's in my city when I go to the hair shops because we got one we, I think we probably got um, one on each side of town, maybe. I got one on my side of town. There's one. There's one on the um, other side of town. Um, um, and there's another one. And there's another. I think we got like maybe three or four here. Three or four. But I noticed that. Um, now, oh, wait a minute. There, there was one that opened up. That I think that is owned by some black people. But the other three, we have, it's like four of them. You know, I live in a small city. Um, there's like four of them here in town. Um, the one that just opened up, there, I think that is black ownership. But the other three are, are owned by uh, people of other races. They're not owned by black people. But they sell, guess what they sell? Everything that's in that store it's black hair care products. You know, weaves, extensions, everything, you know, that black women use. You know, hair, every, I can go in that store and get black hair, you know, care products for my hair. I can go in there and get weaves. I can go in there and get half wigs, wigs, extensions, whatever I want to do, whatever I want to do with my hair. I can get it. You know, I can get it in that, in those stores. You know, they sell um, makeup, they sell fingernail polish, they sell lipstick, they still sell lip gloss, they sell earrings, everything. But that store is mainly catered, catered those stores are catered to African American women. Then my question is, if those stores are catered to African American women, why aren't African American women running the stores? Now, I have nothing against other races. But these stores are in predominantly black communities, particularly the one that's around the corner here from me. It's in a predominantly black community. So why isn't that store ran by black women? They're selling black women hair care products in there. Their target, I studied um, marketing a little bit. Their target market for these stores are black women okay that's their target market so and it's in a predominantly black community so why isn't that store being run by a black woman good question and I find that it's the same when I even go to the next town uh, the next city that's like maybe 15 to 20 minutes from where I live the next city over, 
It's the same thing. The the hair the hair stores in that city is not ran by black people. It's ran by people of other races. It's the same thing. Even when I went to Los Angeles, I went to Los Angeles, and I went to another the same type of store, a black hair hair store that sell weave and all that kind of stuff. Wasn't ran by black people in Los Angeles. So it's the same across the board. You know, it just seems like the same situation, you know, in every city. It doesn't seem to matter what size the city is. And I noticed also that there's a lot of crime in the black communities, a lot of killings and those killings aren't done by people of other races. They're done by black people. Black people are killing black people. Um, depending on you know what city you're living in, increased gang violence. It's a lot of increased um, gang violence and killings going on in a lot of communities in Chicago, Illinois. It's really getting bad over there. It's 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 about neck and neck with Detroit. It's pretty bad, and I have to ask myself why is this going on? It's a lot of uh, fatherless homes, a lot of single parent homes in these communities, a lot of fatherless homes. So I'm I'm noticing that across the board in like every city where there's African-American communities, regardless of the size of the city. I have to ask myself why. Well, when I look here on YouTube, I get a pretty good idea why. When I look at the different videos and everything on YouTube, I get a pretty good idea as to why. We, we do not have any unity as a black race. We don't have any unity. And that is a major problem in our communities. We don't have any unity. But see, the thing is, when I go look for a job, I have to go outside my community to find a job. I can't get a job in my own community. See, I have to go outside the black community to find employment. I can't... Um, I'm talking about on a large scale. When I when I make that statement, I'm talking about on a large scale. I I, I, I can't go. I ha, I cannot find employment in my own community. I have to go into someone else's community to get employment to find a job. I can't I can't get a job in my own community because there's no black businesses or corporations in my community see if I was if I wanted to get have get work in my own community well I'd be unemployed I have to I have to nine times out of ten well actually ten times out of ten I have to go outside my community to seek employment in other words I have to go into someone else's community to get a job that's not a that's not an opinion. That's a fact. So don't get it twisted. It's a fact. It's not an opinion. So uh, that's a problem. And it's usually the same across the board for every black community in every city. See, you have to go outside the community in most cases to seek employment. And go you go ask um, the Caucasian people for a job well you, there's certain things that you have to deal with which is racism in, in, in a lot of cases uh, some jobs are worse than others you know there's different levels of the racism sometimes it's very subtle sometimes it's more in your face it depends on the particular place that's the issues that you have when you have to go outside your community and to the Caucasian people's community to get a job so the reason why that is is there is no black unity 
we, we have no unification in our communities. That is a major problem. Black people, for some reason, are failing to unify. Now, when I look at some of these other communities, whether it be Caucasian, Asian, Hispanic, I notice one thing about those communities. Those communities have businesses that's ran by their own people. Those communities seem to be more unified. So those people in that community can go get a job within their own community. They can actually, nine times out of ten, go get a job within their own community. But blacks, black people, we can't do that. We have to go outside our community in most cases to get a job. And it's one reason, the main reason is there's no unification. See? We, 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 we have failed to build up our communities. And I know some, some might argue, well, the black people have a hard time getting loans and all this kind of stuff. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you take some people in other communities, like maybe the Hispanic people, sometimes they make sacrifices. You know, sometimes they'll haul up in a, a house, a, a two or three bedroom house or apartment, and it'd be like 10 of them mugs up in there, and they'd be, all be working, and they'd be saving their money. And getting their money together while they're working and everything. They they saving. You know, making a lot of sacrifices. Because it takes a lot of sacrifice to live with family members. Especially a, a large number of them. But, you know, it might be ten of them us hauled up in an apartment or a house. They're, they're working. The adult members of the family is working. They're bringing, everybody, they're bringing home the money. They, they're saving the money. After they pay their bills and everything. They're saving the money, and then and then next thing you know, they didn't oh they didn't start it they didn't open up them a business. That's how they're doing it. They they're not necessarily getting loans. They're saving the money. They're they're sticking together. They're coming together, and they're putting their they're putting their monies together. They're putting their resources together to start these businesses. It's not always they're not always getting loans. My question is, why can't black people do that? See? See, these people have businesses within their own community that's run by their own people. So Hispanics can go in their own community. They don't have to go outside their community to get a job. They can get a job right there in their own community. White people can get a job in their own community. They don't have to go outside their community. They don't have to come to the black community to get a job. They can get a job right in their own community. See? Same with Asians in most cases. They can get a job within their own community. Like when I go to a Chinese restaurant, I don't see nothing but Chinese people up in there. I don't be seeing no black people up in there. I don't see no white people. I don't even see white people. I might see one. If, I'm, if, if, if you're lucky, you might see just one or whatever. But in most cases, they got their family working up in there. And I'm, you know, as some might argue, and I've made the statement before. Well, that's the, isn't that discrimination? No, that's called looking out for your own. That's what that's called. I mean, you can call it that, and call it what you want. But at the end of the day, what they're doing is they're looking out for their own. That's the same goes for. Well, uh, uh, um, you know, we have a casino here in town. You know, the Indians, you know, they got their little reparations, and part of that their reparations is that uh, they can build these casinos tax-free or whatever I, I don't know don't quote me I don't know all the details on that I just know that that's part of their reparations that they can open up casinos well they don't they where they open the casino here in my cities in my city nice big facility you know it's, it's out there on the edge of town big facility they got a and they didn't they didn't put up a hotel out there and everything now they're thinking, they're thinking about putting businesses along the street where the casino's at. So folks can go out there and shop and everything like that. Oh, they're making money hand over fist. Guess who predominantly that they're hiring? I'm saying they're not hiring other races. But 
guess who the first people that they're going to consider who has first preference to the jobs Indians Indians their own people you can call it discrimination well they hire people of other races too but you can call it discrimination I call it really when you when you think about it when you come down to it it's, it's called looking out for your own people looking out for your own race and that's something that black people don't do this is a good topic I'm gonna do a part two on this stay tuned this is sweet June 2010